Next to skate, the 2017 Canadian silver medalist, Lubov Ilyushashkina and Dylan Moscovich. They won two bronze medals on the Grand Prix last season, Skate Canada and Grand Prix Japan. They're in fifth place after the short program, about nine points from the podium. passes the side-by-side -side jumps will tell the tale. Side-by-side -side triple toes, she only gets the double off. Still a side-by-side -side triple sow cow up next. to stay on the foot, but so difficult when the rhythm is so erratic on those takeoffs. When I'm faced with the knowledge that you just don't love me, would you think I would curse you or say things to hurt you? Because you just don't love me. Quadruple sow, unable to hang on to the landing. In the program, a throw triple lutz planned. Fighting to stay on her feet, a little hesitation before the reach.
And an opportunity here to leave their mark in front of the home crowd, but too many mistakes to make a push up the leaderboard. They were the top Canadian pairs team at Worlds last spring. They were sixth in Helsinki, but struggles in both the short and the free at Skate Canada. And that's so difficult when you create that much momentum late in the year, you need it to carry on in the Olympic season. They had established themselves as potentially Canada's top team, but when you go head to head against Duhamel and Radford, you cannot leave this many doors open. Dylan competed in Sochi with his former partner, Kirsten Moore Towers. They finished fifth in the pairs competition. They did walk away with a silver in the team event. And Lubov was born in Moscow. She competed for Russia until 2011, but she just got her Canadian citizenship last month. So they are eligible for Pyeongchang. And you have to think that they're a shoe in to make that Olympic team, but there have to be some adjustments. Lubov has got to find her confidence on the side-by-side -side jumping passes because when you're up against the best, you cannot leave those passes needing to catch up points on everything else. Everyone home, love you guys. And the waiting is sure such a difficult time, especially after you've left points on the board. And we saw in the short program, she had a difficult time. She gets that right arm in front of her before she takes off. If that arm and the shoulder start that pre-rotation, it is so difficult to be able to get some kind of torque to get a triple off. Great effort to go for the throw quad, but when you miss both jumping passes and then you have to come around on such a high risk element, you can't really get away with just having that high technical content value. You need to start hitting as things progress through the program. There's no pull. But they have so many unique transitions. Dylan is such a strong lifter. That late lift coming out of a lunge, so physically grueling. Well, they'll have a couple of weeks off and skate again in France the third week in November. Now that is not enough to pass Peng and Jin very early in this competition to be in second place. And with the top four being as strong as they were in the short program, Dylan and Lubov had to deliver today and it just was not in the cards. Please welcome the next competitor. 